Hello, Stakes B. P time again. We have some agility drills this week. So short, sharp, fast movement, side to side, low to high, high to low, um, slow to fast. Um, but before that, we've got our warm up. So make sure you've got some space to do your warm up. Make sure you've got a drink handy, you may be getting a bit sweaty. And our exercises have come from some of the year sixes who are in school. So thank you very much. So we will jog on the spot. As always, I'm not a massive fan of jogging on the spot, so if you do have a bit more room, let's just jog around. Yeah, get moving. You don't have to go really fast. We're just getting that heart rate up. So we're jogging around. If we're on the spot, let's just pick it up a little bit. Keep jogging. And then relax. So first exercise is from Preston. Thank you, Preston. Star jumps. So we are star jumping. Nice and relaxed. So we could start if you struggle with side ups. Out, in, out, in. Yeah, and then we get in. We might even push it into superstars. So we're in, and then all the way out. That way. Superstars. Nice work. Yeah, definitely getting faster. Side steps. So little side two falls again. Depending on how much space you've got. It might just be a couple of steps, side to side. It might be one step and two, two, there. As long as you're getting that little sideways movement, I might go further and touch. I might add Kiva's exercise, basketball jumps to the side. Basketball jump to the side. Keep going. Side shuffles, basketball jumps. Keep going, two more. One more. Nice work. Definitely getting one here, six, thank you. So next exercise is from Toby. Lunges. So lunges. Stand up tall. You don't need to step really far, just step forward. Keep this foot flat, and then push back. And then we have to do a rubber leg. So lunges. Face forward. Up tall, lunge. There, and then your leg. Keep going, team, lunging. Nice and controlled, balanced. One foot, and push back. And done. Nice work. So, we're going to do a punch jack. So, a punch jack is like a jumping jack, a star jump, but we're going to have some punches in. So we're going to start with our legs together and our hands here. And our legs go out and we punch. And then we come back in. We punch. And we come back in. But we want to do it faster. There. So we punch jacks. Let's go, team. Nice and fast. Keep going. Punch jacks. Super fast. Speed it up. Punch. We might punch up in the air. Done. Next exercise from Mason. Sit-ups. Right, I knew they were coming. Sit-ups. So we can, I always like to bend my legs for my sit-ups to make it a little bit easier. Now try not to pull your head to up with your hand. You can have your hands here, or you can just do your sit-up there. I like to do a stir, and then sit-up, and touch a floor. So sit-up, touch. Sit-up. And touch. Sit up and touch. Keep going. So let's get five more in. Come on, team. Four more in. And three more. Two more. One more. One more. Good luck. Done. Right. Heart rate is nice and fast. So, really good warm up so far. We're just going to finish with our toe taps. So toe taps are going to help us for our agility drills, because a lot of our agility drills, we don't want our heels on the floor. Yeah, you want to be light on your feet in this ready position. So toe taps, all I'm going to do is tap our feet, front of our feet, not your toes. Yeah, the bottom of your feet, we're just going to go toe taps here. So we're just going to go one in front of the other. Yeah, we can get the hands moving to add a little bit more into it. But are you ready? 
or to 10 seconds as fast as you can. We must always have one in front of the other. Are you ready? Let's go. 10, 9, 8, faster, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good work. Warm up. Definitely warm. So, grab a quick drink if you want one. Now for our agility drills, I'm going to use some markers and I've also got coloured cones. If you don't have coloured cones, then quickly get some bits of paper, red, yellow, blue. Off you go. Okay, our first drill. I have a cone. If you don't have a cone, it could be anything. It could be a tin of beans, it could just be a chalk mark on the floor if you're outside. So you just need something to be able to run around. So this is drill if you drill. You're going to go round whatever it is you have on the floor. So go round like this, light thing. But when I get back to here, I don't carry on going round, I go back the other way. Here. Yeah? Every time I do one full circle, I get a point. Yeah? You're going to have 30 seconds to see how many points you can get. So let's have a quick practice. So I need to be light on my feet. Yeah, I'm not just running around my circle. I'm always facing forward. So I'm facing the camera, you're facing me. Yeah, little shuffles. Round, back, and round. Yeah, back, I might touch, and back, touch, and back round. There, I think I've only got four points. Yeah, so I've got a stopwatch. I'm going to do a review, try and beat my score. 30 seconds to get as many points as we can. I'm just gonna put my hands up so I know when I've got a point. Are you ready? Let's go Tim. So a little side shuffle. There's one for me, yeah? Round, round again. So I'm light on my feet. I think I'm on three, four. Keep going Tim, we're halfway through. Five, come on, I'm gonna pick it up, speed it up. Six, keep going. Light on your feet. 10 seconds left, I've got to cut my hands. Keep going. Get one more in. Done. I got that many. So, that is your personal best. So have a breather, have a drink, pause me, and then try and beat that score. So now you always know if you're getting better. Because if I beat my score, I'm improving. Give it a go. Okay, next drill. So with these agility drills, they are short, sharp, fast bursts of energy. You can't do them for a very long time. So if you're at home, get whoever's doing peer review, whoever's looking after you, get them doing it as well. So you can compete against them on the last drill and get them to call out your colours for this one. So we've done a similar drill last year, but we had four colours. This one has four coloured colours, so yellow, a blue, a red. So everybody needs them. So you don't have to have the cones, it might just be something yellow, something blue, something red. Could just be a piece of paper with yellow scribbled on it, blue, or red, it doesn't matter. So we're looking at that ready position and our reactions. So I'll do the first few and then I'd like you to do it at home or with your teacher in class. So if I call yellow, you're going to run, touch yellow, and then come back. To here. That's important. Don't just run and touch it and stop. You've got to get back into this ready position. So if I say red, I'm here and touch. So you see my hands are out ready. I've got a bend in my legs. Blue, I touch it and then back. Yeah, yellow, back to the middle. Light on your feet. Red, back, red, back again, back to the middle. Blue, then yellow. So you see I've got two colours. And back, blue, and back, ready position, yeah? So, pause me, get mum, dad, whoever's looking after you or your teacher to get you working on touching your clothes. So we can also add bits of equipment. So you may be a big tennis fan. So when you call the colours, you might have your tennis racket and go back and hit. Yeah? Hit, go back. You may get more than three coloured colours. 
you may put them further away. If I was further away, it's going to be a lot longer to run. They'd get a bit more athletic. Yeah? You could do football. So whoever calls the colour passes you the ball and you pass it back. Or you could do boxing. So I've got my gloves. You might not have any gloves, it doesn't matter. So in the class, at home, get ready. So when I shout at colour now, you're going to move to that colour and you're going to throw two shots, a jab and a cross over the top of the cone and then back to your mark. Are you ready? Light on your feet. Blue! Jab, cross and back. I'm losing a glove. Back on. Yellow! Jab, cross and back. Yellow! Jab, cross and back. Red! Jab, cross and back. So I'm laying on my feet. Ready, blue! And back. Red and yellow. So I go to red. I punch. I go to yellow. I punch. And I come back. And breathe. So, 30 seconds tops. Yeah? That's going to be hard work. Like I said, if you've got brother, sister at home, let them have a go in between. You call the colours. But make sure they go back to the marker before you shout the next colour. A really good agility drill will help you in whatever sport you're playing, especially dodgeball with Josh Brown. Give it a go. Right, now our last little bit, I've got a little bit of time to film something else. A speed bounce. I love speed bounce. Most people love that event in the indoor athletics. We've done it before in our previous video, so we're light on our feet and we have to do a rebound jump. So we're over the marker and then back across. If you don't have a marker, just something on the floor you can jump over. Make sure you've got lots of space. Do we need to practice this one? No, let's get straight onto it. 20 seconds, team. Are you ready? Let's go, side to side. So get your rhythm, get your balance, and then you try not to land. You just keep them feet moving all over that marker. Get as many as you can. We're halfway. Speed it up, come on. Keep going, team. Speed round, side to side. I'll put a little bit all over there. Three, two, one. How many you get? Again, you've got a personal best. You've got something to beat. Try and beat it. Yeah, remember stakes, be keep active. Good work this week.